Oh my god, you guys, just seriously, 90% of you don't really even know what logic is. You know, this word that sounds like logic and it's like a homonym of what logic really is. It's just the word sounds like it and what you mean by logic has nothing to do with logic. Now, John, your sentiments in this are noble, but see how you have to go into the, can't we have faith in illogical things? everything could be explained by logic. Well, that's debatable whether everything can be explained by logic, but you missed the whole point. Your misunderstanding of logic forces you to uh, um, an equally absurd, possibly more dangerous view that it, it's okay to be illogical. No. If you're being illogical, that means that you're using reasoning to make a conclusion that doesn't really follow from the principles you're deriving it from. You understand? Right? You have a principle of self-defense, you get a conclusion you're supposed to kill somebody, but it really wasn't self-defense. You were lying to yourself. It's illogical. Your principles that you were working from did not lead to the conclusion for some reason. That's illogic. That's never justified. But when, a lo when an argument is logical, that just means that it has principles, input principles, and that the logic used to get the conclusion is valid. In other words, it means that the principles lead to the conclusion. So if I have a principle that I'm the most important thing in the world, it is logical to steal things from other people that I want if I'm not going to get caught. That actually is logical because the input principle there's this big part of logic that you guys don't know about where you judge the propositions that you start from. Like reductio ad absurdum. This is when you take some logical principles, you apply a logical argument, and you reach something absurd, generally a contradiction. But in less formal logic, it can just be something absurd. Uh, the thing might not really be absurd. But in logic itself, an internal contradiction. If you can take a principle and argue it to an, an internal contradiction, then there's a problem with the principle. It's a way of judging the principles. See, when you do something logical and get something absurd, it means the principles were wrong, or at least that's the theory. Because the logic doesn't introduce ideas, it just transforms them. It's not entirely true, but it's mostly true because most of the transformation that logic imposes is imposed on the way you state the principles, right? So once you get them in that form, logic doesn't really introduce much other than the fact that, yeah, they're in that form. So when you get to something absurd, like, therefore, we should kill everybody, that's a reduction of the propositions input into the logic, into absurdity. And the reduction was done with logic. So logic is something that goes and takes some principles and makes a result. And it provides a way to judge principles when you get ridiculous results that are unacceptable. Okay. This is a basic thing about logic. What most people here are talking about when they say logic is like, it's just some religious or platonic notion of uh, reason that, that got the right answer. That's not what it is, okay? 